I think it was time to get a group ready for BFD, yeah? Last time we did BFD, we were not good enough, okay? Oh, no, send it. Full damn, full damn, full damn. Okay, max range. Shit. Bro, that AoE is just impossible. He just, like, changed shadow freaking. So, so, uh... Uh, well, well, well. Guys, we're back, okay? The first time we came in here, we weren't unable to fight back against these Nagas. Dust to dust, time and time again. But you know what? Today we come back. Today we get our revenge. We take the one ring. I have gathered the finest group of individuals I could possibly find. And we are gonna go into BFD today and we are gonna absolutely destroy this thing, okay? We're gonna do this. I think you should. You're gonna feel better. It was not on push to talk. What the hell? Shutters? Yes, this is the place. Hold the ring close, S fan. There are many here that would use its power. Some closer than you think. Yes, Vivian. I had to hold it close. I had to put it in the first slot right next to the maple seed. Okay, good. Okay, I am ready to go. Okay, no mage chat. We don't need mages. Okay, we're here in BFD. It's BFD time. Can you explain the stats for Sod? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, it's the same as the same as it is in normal vanilla. It's you have a uh, strength as attack power, agility for crit and dodge, uh, stamina is your health, spirit is your mana regen, your health regen, and uh, you know, like, is your spell crit and your mana. Druid pumping, dude, he's got that freaking big mace now. He's, he's OB. Okay, here we go. Let's send it. Oh, nev. Okay. <laughs> I think it's the same debuff though, so if you see it, just dive in the <laughs> Okay. Hey, that's how she goes sometimes. Okay. See, I think when we're DPSing from here- Ah, oh, damn. Get back up there, get back up there, get back up there. Nice. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh. I mean, just just rolling it like normal. I, I'm gonna master lit it next time. I just I just forgot. Okay. So I did seal twisting on that last boss. Next boss. Let's do divine storm. The big thing is we have to avoid the orbs on this guy. The orbs will give you mana, but you'll take but you'll take damage, right? I got bounced into one. Okay, well now, dude, oh my gosh, I'm getting literally bounced all over the place. Okay, we gotta stop, okay, guys, unbelievable. We have to avoid the orb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle his druid and you can battle his Okay. Okay, yeah, watch out for bubbles. His hitbox is like really big, by the way, you can stand back. Okay. Oh, sick. Also, I forgot to master loot again. Unbelievable. Has he already dealt with the one ring? No. Dude, the one ring is sitting in my bag like a curse. I have to hold it close in the first slot in my bags. So we remember how to do this? We have to like yeah. put the big guys in the frost aura or whatever? Uh, we'll have somebody kite the big... Actually, we don't even need to kite the big guys in the frost aura. So what we need to do is we need to have a paladin tank this. So we'll have doink it in tank. You can freedom yourself out. So instead of giving you might, I'm going to give you wisdom this time. So you can freedom yourself out without it dropping. And then I'm going to rebuff everybody's might right now. So if it happens, you need to get out and run around. And then the big guy, you can just not worry about him and he'll get frozen. You should not be here. Okay, let's move her. Nice. nice. Easy. Hey, that trident. Uh, oh, wow. Our hunter has it. <laughs> Nobody else needs this, right? This trident? Because if I, I, I'd, I'd like to take it for something, if I can. Guys, it's not even an upgrade for anybody, okay? We all have Varigans. Okay, Murloc boss. So this is the first boss that last night... F us in the A. Yep. F us in the A, but it's okay. Okay. Look, last time we came in here, guys, and we wanted to fight this Murloc, this evil, dark, shadowy Murloc, and he effed us in the A. 
okay? We went out there and many men died. Many men died for good trying to defeat this evil Murloc. We're gonna end him so bad that he's not gonna come back the next time we come check back on him. That's how confident I am. All right, let's go do this. The first iteration of the ring's power manifested less in it. Oh no. This is the iteration of the ring's power. The first iteration of the ring's power. Gelahast. Oh no. All right. Okay, so make sure you don't get hit by these, uh, by the murlocs. Melee, you can come behind this tree, and you just have to avoid the arcane explosions, but there's no murlocs here. Oh, sh we have two down? Yeah. Uh, we have to tank swap when, uh, Doink has that debuff, by the way. Got it back, good. Mm -hmm. Vivian, do you wanna do you want me to taunt? I don't know if you're better. And then now doing yeah there you go. Okay, you got it. Doink. 3%, you guys got this? Nice. Nice. Woo. Okay. Ooh. Good. Twilight Sage's Walking Stick. That's a oh, that's huge, huge healing stab. Look at this thing. Twilight Sage's Walking 24 plus healing at level 25. Okay, does everybody know how to do the, the gauntlet totems? What we did last night was we went to... We let the Wind Fury up where we left it up. And then uh, we decided to kite the magma totem, and then as soon as that lightning totem dropped, it just full full damn on lightning totems. Yeah, that's that's what I've seen everyone do it. Just only attack lightning totem. We just have to be really careful as soon as the lightning totem comes up to just. Stop I've got a timer. Out. I'll call it. Cool. Call Killing the elite first. Yep. And then just interrupt the heals on the priest. Yeah. Got another fresh two murlocs, but. It's just two, so it's fine. The boss is coming. Remember, ignore the wind fury. Our lights are still up. Lightning in three. Okay, stop attacking the moth. Kill Totem. Nice. I had a parry and a dodge on my Divine Storm, dude. Get ready to move Kite for the... Lightning in three. Okay, get ready, swap. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Remember, don't attack the boss when the lightning totems up. Oh, well, who's it chasing? Let's move up ramp. Watch the ball. 
Lightning in three. Stop attacking. Dude, I, I literally, like, right as soon as it went out, I, I did, like, a full, like... Yeah, Oscar, try to uh, time that drain life uh, after the... Or is it just well, always on it? Lightning in three. Stop attacking. I miss Cornwood. I just want to eat a corn the Careful. long way. Follow melee. Dude, the thing is. Nice. Good job. Go for the ball. It's still, still rolling. Yeah. What the hell? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, Big brink chest. The chest is DPS lit too. It's a uh, hybrid. I think this is just me and Doink. Congrats, Doink. I pulled the stealthy. Nice. Congrats. Which one is next? I don't remember. Let me tell you about why uh, it's important to eat a corn the long way once in a while. The RNG boss. Get your dust to dust spams ready. Oh, that guy. I, yeah, I genuinely think that boss is not hard. No, okay, chat. People kept saying this. It's not RNG. It's the closest to. You guys aren't understanding when people say it's RNG. The people that say it's RNG are talking about it's RNG on how many night elves you have to kill before you get the port. So what's the verdict? S not the RNG Twister on going down. Storm build. It's RNG on going up. What's the verdict? Um, I actually don't know. I, I think like if you look at data, like it seems like the most effective is divine storm but i also don't know if that's a product of like more people going divine storm because it just is kind of easier like i think like theoretically i think divine storm is just better right now because you can't twist command and martyr but then oh, there's a chest up here if we to be to fair it. maybe maybe we're not doing our due diligence and we haven't figured it out yet you know okay gentlemen listen up all right it's very important that we approach kelris correctly kelris is very very powerful he is a very very powerful warlock and it is imperative that we do everything that we need to do precisely and diligently in order to be able to defeat him. I want our rogues to go at him. He's going to be casting spells. He's going to be using these, these evil techniques. He's going to damage our minds. He's going to mind blast us. I want you to go and I want you to interrupt his spell casts. The next thing he's going to do, and it is so important, I cannot stress this enough, but whenever he wants to cast these shackles, these shadowy chains upon us, we need to make sure those are interrupted. The next thing, he's going to put you in a dream state. The two closest people, he will cast a spell upon you and you will fall asleep. You'll fall into a dream state. And he's going to put you back in this very room. But the there's next going to be thing void is you walkers. grab his balls and twist. There's going to be void walkers and there's going to be night elves everywhere. I want you to kill these night elves. These night elves, when you attack them, will actually shape shift into tentacles. They will show their true form, and you need to release from their souls a portal that you're going to enter to wake up out of your dream state. When we put him on his last leg, and he's about to die, when he enrages, he's going to cast a spell on himself, he's going to get large, he's going to get so big and powerful that we will no longer be able to interrupt his spell casts. It's time for us to do everything we can to kill him before he kills us. We need to spread out around Kelris, make sure that if he does cast those shadowy chains on us, that the chains don't bounce to each one of us, and, and uh, reduce our health to the point where we'll no longer survive. Let's go do this. All right, this is it. We got this, easy. Who dares disturb my meditation? Sure, he's in behind them, in front of them. Uh, in front of them, so you wanna stand between, between the boss and the priests? Uh, the, the hunter will have to uh, move closer at some point. Okay. Come on. Well, this is actually the longest I've had. Wow, oh, there we go. Okay. 
Hey, make sure we spread out here whenever uh, whenever he swaps, and we, you want to pull some mana for damage if you need to. Yeah. Okay, he's going in. Uh, phasing, phasing. Okay, spread out. He can't interrupt anymore, so just DPS. Yeah, you can exactly. fap. You can fap if you have it. Quick fap party. Oh my gosh, dude! I don't. My bagnon isn't working. Uh, slash use free action oh. potion. Uh, star, don't stand too close. As soon as you'll chain. I'm out of mana, I'm out of mana, I'm out of mana. 8%. Pumpkin, back up a little bit if you can. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. ready to run no. through a wall there. Might Huge. Well 82, Vivian. Oh my gosh. 81, doing. Oh my gosh. Look at these rolls. Vivian, Gratz, 82. Huge neck. Huge neck. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Dude, this is the creakiest door. Akumai's lair. Okay. Oh no. There he is. Akumai. What the frick? Oh, dude. Look at his eyes. Did they update his model or something? Yeah, he didn't used to glow like he's, that. Yeah, he's got the aura. Oh yeah, with the ornate spyglass, okay. Oh yeah, he looks sick. Yeah, he does. Vivian, what must I do to cleanse this ring? Akumai the Devourer, our final test. He will accept the ring's power when he grows uh, desperate. This will be a worthy adversary. Put on the ring, Esfand. Together we will slay the beast. Remember, you must cleanse yourself using the power of the elementals at some point in the battle. Should I... Should I risk it? It is a risk we must take. May Elune grant us strength. Do you think... Elune will... Accept... Accept me as... A follower... Of the light? Will she... Bestow... Absolutely not. <laughs> Upon me? Fuchemin thinks not. Her powers are dampened down this dark, dank place, but I still feel her warmth. With Alune and the light together, I am sure we will be protected and this this damned ring cleansed for forever. Alright. Hey chat, this is it. We cleanse the ring here, chat. Thank you, take boss. Okay, almost there. All right, Chad, I have to take the one ring. Void blast. Chad, we're gonna cleanse the one ring. Uh, I'm gonna take boss as soon as I can. Bar resist. He's at 8%. Listen up here, Sizzle and Chad. Going to go cleanse. No, I have 1.6 mil. Or bubble, or bubble, or bubble. 6%. Yeah, 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 good bubble. Just like... Take boss off me, but no. Oh, take it, don't take it, save me. Nice go. Nice. nice. Okay, nice. Good job. Oh, boy. Oh my gosh, okay. It's time for us to take the one ring and cast it away. We need to plunge it into the blood of Akumai. No, don't. You, a u g g g h a a u u g g h h h h h See, it's talking to me. Do I do it, Jet? It's not working. You uh, can't destroy equipped items inside. It's still here. It won't, what the frick? It can't be destroyed. It needs fire? Chat, this really is the one ring. You have to take it into Molten Core, chat. We're gonna have to take this ring all the way into Molten Core. We have to hold on to it tightly and we have to cast it away in the fires of Black Rock Mountain. We're taking the one ring all the way. The one ring follows us all the way to Molten Core. And until we get there, I don't know how many months it's gonna take, but we'll get there. Frick.